Hello, lovely people, and welcome back to Accidental Adult. It is fantastic to see you here again. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy during this quarantine. And today, I'm gonna show you how to remove lint balls or pilling from your clothes. First of all, I wanna say that no matter how good your outfit looks, if you have lint balls on your clothes, you don't look good. This this is not a good look on anyone. This just makes you look sloppy and that is not how you intended to look this morning. So what do you do? Two things. First, you remove them and second, you prevent them from happening again. How? Easy. First, removing them is very straightforward. Don't use scissors or a razor or a normal shaver. Don't use anything on your clothes that's not intended for your clothes. You will just ruin them. Instead, use a lint shaver. Yes, these exist. And their sole purpose in life is to remove lint from clothes. What is my purpose? You remove lint. Oh my god. Yeah, welcome to the club, pal. And they're super cheap. This one was like $10 from Amazon, and there was even cheaper, but I got this one because you can actually change the blade if it gets dull. If you got super excited to find out this exists, congratulations, you are an adult. So let me show you how this works. First, lay your garment flat on a table. As you can see, these joggings are in desperate shape. Then just start shaving, it's pretty straightforward. It does take a bit of time and patience, but the results speak for themselves. It works on pretty much any piece of clothing with lint balls on it. Some are easier to remove than others, depending on the state of your clothes. But either way, you end up with a smoother and practically brand new piece. Look at this! Look, look at this! Are you seeing this difference? It's crazy! When you're done, just empty the lint trap and that's it. I also like to go over the garment with a lint roller to remove any small fibers that were left behind. I usually do this once or twice per season, typically when it's time to put the clothes in storage. That way, when it's time to wear them again, they would look brand new. Second thing is preventing the lint from happening again or minimizing their occurrence. To do that, you need to understand why pilling happens in the first place, and it's basically because of friction. Things rubbing against your clothes is what causes them to pill, and more often than not, that happens when you wash your clothes improperly. Also, certain fabrics are more likely to pill than others, like cotton for example. So here's what you do to prevent your clothes from pilling. Wash your clothes inside out. Use a liquid detergent. Use a gentle cycle in the washing machine and dry your clothes inside out or avoid the dryer altogether. The idea is to minimize friction as much as possible. And that's it really. Just wash your clothes properly and buy this. You'd save a lot of money on new clothes, you'd have more space in your closet, and you'd actually wear your old clothes again. Not to mention your outfits would look fire every time. And that is all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Baby, baby, come on. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, the belly I'm I'm behindly I'm at foot in my shorts, mom by the fit till up. I lost it. <laughs> Did I get it? I killed it! <laughs> I killed it! It is dead! Oh my god. It's dead! And there's another one. Is it back from the dead? It's back from the dead! I got it. I got it. I got it. I don't know if I got it.